Hello Sonic, hi M. Hi Guy28, hi Red, hi Michael. Hello DJ. Hello Freeman. Modkun, hello guys, how are you? How's your Saturday? Is it has it been good so far? I hope it's been good so yes, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. I was supposed to stream at like 5 p.m. but I got busy, so you know I had to move. So here I am. Hello Corbs. Hi Larry. Yes. Hello guys. Um, I hope you guys have eaten, but if you guys haven't, then go ahead, go grab something to eat. Let's eat while finishing the last case of Apollo Justice. I have some donuts. Yes, some strawberry sprinkled donuts. And a bisque of one. Mm. So, yeah, I'm in quarantine, you know, just here, waiting, preparing, and then I have water, obviously. That's great to hear, Corbs, that you have already eaten. Ooh, hot dog. Hot dogs in a bun, or just plain hot dog? Because, you know, sometimes I just eat the hot dogs without the bun. <laughs> Coffee, chocolate chip, ice cream, and yogurt drink. Ooh! That is good, guy. That is good, guy. You know that you're you have your food ready. You just like me. Whenever I whenever I stream, I have food nearby and ready. Hello, Eric. Hiya. So yes, guys. Hello, hello. It's good that you guys prepared food or have eaten already. I have eaten, but these are my desserts and snacks while playing. Ooh, barbecue sauce and mustard. That's gotta taste good. Anyway, um, I hope your weekend's been good so far, guys. If not, then, you know, there's still plenty of hours left before the day ends. So, you can still make sure that you still have fun and enjoy your day. Oh, really? You had them in a bun. I see. Oh, you're welcome, Larry. You're welcome. Anyway, so... I was while waiting. I was actually um um what do you call this? I was roaming roaming around the game, and I didn't even notice that there was a scene like this. Like, look, let's switch to the game scene, guys. Look, like you have the option to take a look at their thingies. Like, look, like this one. See, I didn't know the air guitar. Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh, the close up. Oh, it falls on this. Okay. And you know what's fun? Look, you're always switching places depending on who's your character. So if it's a follow, it's on that. Shady Smith. Oh, this guy. Oh! <laughs> like, look, guys. Look at him! Look at him! When he was just seven years ago, that's what he looks like. And he still does the same wall town. Oh, wait. Does he have an objection voice when he is young? No, he does not. Oh, but there's no air guitar. And for everyone's favorite, here we go, guys. Here's here's the thing for you guys. <laughs> guys, here is, here he is. <laughs> Your favorite character. I didn't notice the thing. <laughs> yes. Guy, yes, like look, tada! <laughs> look, <laughs> where is the when you want when you when the thing? Like, look, this is everyone's favorite. Actually, they get traumatized with it. <laughs> Living up a school, <laughs> and look at this one, like, ah, oh, this guy, no. Cleaning your glasses with... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, they're taking damage from this guy. Wait, you can't even put Mr. Romain Latouche? Oh no, not this guy. No, this the creepy guy. The creepy guy. Like, look! Look at the tight! Look at the thing! I hate this doctor. This doctor is creepy. No! You can even look at the judge. I didn't know that there was this thing. I feel like this thing is still the best. I don't even know God. But this guy, this guy is like, he's just so cool. Look. Anyway, let's go back. I was just enjoying that thing. Like, this is the museum. Oh wait, why did I go there? Here. Let's return to the title screen. And time to load the game. Here we go, guys. We're currently on the recess right now. Okay. So where exactly does this leave us, Apollo? And we're back. We're gonna start with the trial after the recess. We need the forgeries. Yeah. Yeah, for father. I know it was wrong. Did you tell us how it happened? My father was a painter. I loved painting ever since I was a child. One day, father saw it in me. He saw that I had the talent to forge things, huh? It was... Okay? Wow, she's very talented then. Yeah, I feel so sad for Vera. She was ex her talent was exploited by her father. And of course, she being a little kid, she just wanted to make her father proud and happy. And, and, but you know, she didn't even know. Oh. Oof, that's pretty sad. I feel so sorry for her. Well, she's been cooped up inside that house, I mean, that room, ever since, so, you know. Dang. Okay, it was some time ago. She was already a forger seven years ago. Why would you break like at the at the last important time? Mm hmm It's part of my work. Great. Those are murder cases that we have been handling. So why? Hmm? He knew of you. Both of you. Oh! Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh 
Can you find out why? <laughs> Hello, Mickey Do Momo. Hiya, William. You'll find out soon, Jersey. You'll find out soon. What if his daddy's daddy? <laughs> Phoenix Wright's father? I doubt it, Luke, Jersey. <laughs> I doubt it. Or I guess we're about to find out. You know it's hard being a Apollo because you just find out the case as time as you know as the trial goes by, <laughs> and sometimes we're even left in the dark because our clients won't tell us anything. Very seems pretty tense. Heihachi Mishima <laughs> We're not playing with Tekken now We're not doing Tekken, Sonic Hello, Hideki Hey it's I know it's hard for you, but hey, he's a handsome guy Ah, the microphone fell Oopsie There, there, much better. Okay. What's hard? Very well, miss, if you would. Yes, she made those forgeries. Oof. Look at her. That remarkably similar one. Of course, I know Tekken. Why? I've played Tekken. But not the recent one, I think Tekken 4? Or was it... Well, Tekken Tag is I, something that I used to play back then. Um, Trucy is saying that... Um, Vera... Look, Vera thinks that... She's... That Vera thinks that Clavier is handsome, so he sa she says it's hard for you because she's like indirectly saying that Apollo is not handsome. William, that's what she's saying. It's a, she's silently burning him. It's a silent burn. The new one, I've heard about good things about the new one and I've saw I've seen a gameplay of the new Tekken and it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said, William. I'm eating my donut. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Testimony from Vera. Hello, Jerome. Mm 
With your honor. Let me just finish my donut before we continue with the cross examination. <laughs> finish the donut before the cross examination. Well, let's just press everything because we need more information. I feel so sorry for her, you know? Take care, Freeman. Hope you arrive safely. I don't drink coffee, William. I don't drink coffee. Well, you could probably say... I would drink it if it's... Mm, if it doesn't have the bitter taste. But does that still count as coffee? That does, does that still st con is considered as coffee if it's not bitter or doesn't have the bitter taste? Right now I'm just drinking it with, with water because I I was I don't wanna I don't wanna make matcha so I'm just drinking it with just plain old plain cold water. I feel so sorry for Vera though. He had no idea what she was doing was illegal. Objection! Easy there, little. Well, technically, yes. That is true. Xavier is correct. No, coffees are bitter. Bitter, Eric. By other than a painting, forging evidences. I don't like coffee. I don't know why, but I just don't like the taste of it. I just don't like pretty much um bitter stuff. I guess. Her forgeries are very, very bad. Very bad. Oh, I'd rather drink, I'd rather drink milk with donuts than coffee, though. Forging evidences. Ugh. Uh oh. Correct. Nope, the stamp was the thing, the commemorative stamp. It was the stamp that she kept. meant for her Objection! a moment <laughs> her forehead
There she is again, with that stare. It was? Oh no, so that's why. Nope, she didn't. She just kept the stamp because it's commemorative stamp. <laughs> Oopsie. Mm -hmm. That stamp that stamp haunted the haunted them for like seven years, I guess. So she's not in danger. Yep. Well then, glad you arrived home safely, Demon. That's good to know. It was very pretty and more than that. <laughs> yes. It was a picture of people I liked at that time. Here we go. She's gonna continue her testimony. And we're gonna press it again. Like, um, I think we don't need to. We just need to present the ticket show. Is it this one? Those magicians you like. Was it this bunch? They're not a bunch. Hello. Oh, Elena. Hi. How are you? Hello. I didn't notice you were there. The murder was delayed seven years. What's wrong with Gavin? Gra gra <laughs> Grammarie. Mm -hmm. Might I ask just one question of this witness? In your testimony just now, you stated this was your first work that was other than a painting. Oh no, he knows something. He knows something. What exactly did you make? Uh -huh. No. Answer the question. Now. Uh oh. He's angry. He's angry. He knows something, guys. You're usually not the, the one whose wife <laughs> concerns me. He's, he's usually chill, so he the judge was quite weirded out. <laughs> it was a book. A single page in a book. A book. Please be more specific. Uh-oh. 
It was a handwritten book. Like like a diary. Oh no. Oh no. He knows. He knows. There is something. Good luck with your stream later, Lena. Hope you have fun. <laughs> this book. Was there a picture of a silk hat on the back cover? Yes or no? Uh oh. How? How did you know? Oh no! What's going on? You don't know what's going on. He told he's told you nothing, has he? Phoenix! Your soul solid mentor nothing? He didn't tell us anything. Phoenix right. Who else? He never told you about the trial seven years ago. About how he came to lose his badge. Oh no. Here we go. It was a certain piece of evidence that decided his fate, you know? A certain diary. On the back, it bore the mark of a silk hat. Great. False evidence, and it was created by Vera over here. <laughs> the ghost of the past, guys. To forge that evidence. For all of our six, who was it? Uh oh. There's there's so much chaos going on and inside the court. You met the client. It was it was What's going on with Vera? She's staring at Prosecutor Gavin's face again. Guess what? Is there something about me? I remember clearly. I remember who gave me the book, the diary. Who was it? Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Vera. Painting. Yes, Sonic, that is correct. The devil. <laughs> he's the he's the devil. The brother is the devil. Defendant Vera Mission unconscious. Well, trial will be on pause because of the poisoning. He, she got poisoned as well. If you guys know how she was poisoned, then you have been paying attention. You have been observant. <laughs> you'll see, you'll find out, Sonic. You'll find out. A very simple case at first glance, until it finally began to show its true colors. Oh, it's a sim- You'll see, you'll see, you'll find out later. Little Trucy is so adorable. Mm -hmm. Did it. Did. Now we're going back to the past.
Ooh, peanuts again. Here we go, back to the thingy. I lost. Ta da Isn't he familiar, guys? Isn't the guy familiar? And another poker battle? I mean, poker thingy? Seven years earlier. Phoenix Wright's final trial. Okay, it's been a long time since I felt like such a rookie. Gotta try and relax. Ah, good morning, Mr. Enigmar. Daddy Enigmar usually goes by stage name Zack. I received the files from your previous. Look, look at this scene, guys. Look at what it says. So he was not. Phoenix was not supposed to be the uh, the the lawyer, the defense lawyer for the trial, but you know. Mm -hmm. That was enough. Actually, it wasn't. Trust me. Trucy! Look! Look at Trucy! She's so adorable! Da, 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 da. <laughs> and she's still wearing a red cape and hat. <laughs> That's young man to you. Good morning, that's a cute outfit you have on. Thanks, my first shows today after all. She's so adorable! Mm. Old boy! <laughs> Imagine being called old boy. Look what he started. Here. I don't know, just got it over there in the hall. They told me to give it to the old boy in the blue suit with the spiky hair. And that is the forged evidence, guys. It's a new guy. It's the it's the newly, you know, a true thoroughbred in the history of the prosecutor's office. Just before the trial? They will not be able to pronounce me guilty today. So do your best, but do not worry. First time a defendant's ever given me a pep speech. -da 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 -da. It will be impossible for them to declare a verdict. Impossible? Yes. Isn't that right, Trucy? Yep, you bet. <laughs> She's so adorable. She's so cute. Daddy Enigmar. What was a rare breed of magician? Ba -da -da, until he was shot dead. Ooh, and he is the suspect.
What's in her court record? Clown, then the book. Magnifi Grammarie. 67 male, April 13th, 11 to 11.30. Lots of blood from bullet wound. Malignant tumor found in victim's liver. Ooh. It seems fate's clock will make me wait a little bit, a little longer at least, only less than 10 minutes remain. To all those who have supported me in my life's work, I give thanks, farewell. Trissy! Defense is ready, your honor. Ta-da! Clavier! Oh, he, he, his hair is still short compared to, you know, how long it is now. A governor's concert. Oh, well, he's still, you know, wait, who, who were you again? Oh, he's still not part here. Clavier, Clavier Gavin. Christoph Gavin. Ah, uh, figure is my bros more famous in this part of the town. Clavier, lead singer for the mega hit band The Gaviners. You're out of your league, rock boy. I know what you're thinking. You're out of your league, rock boy. <laughs> he read your mind, Phoenix. 13 years hard time for love when platinum overnight. <laughs> but that's just a hobby to me compared to this, yeah? Talkative, aren't you? I like your affected Euro Euro rock accent. Uh -huh. Achtung. Hey, Detective Gumshoe is here! Our favorite detective. And you are? Hey, you were the one who called me up here, sir. Name's Dick Gumshoe. Homicide detective down at the present. Hey, it's Gumshoe. Long time no see. Hey, you. Huh? Me? Today's the day, pal. Today I win and you lose. I got confidence in my testimony today, see? <laughs> here we go again. What? You normally lack confidence in your testimony? Ooh. Hey, you wing in. <laughs> here we go! We have Detective Gumshoe here! Ooh, I miss this! I miss this music! Puts a pistol to his forehead and BAM! Lights out! Under his magical spell Look! A turtle is upside down as well Say the name Magnifi to one of my generation and you'd be lucky to get to get a blank stare. That's how famous he was, I guess. A mal malignant tutor or something. <laughs> malignant tumor. Doing something to his liver, I think. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. He had liver, in other words, he had liver cancer. Ooh. Final stage with no hope of recovery. Patient has three months to live. Patient has chronic diabetes. Requires regular insulin. He's just 17? 
He's young. He's so young. Yep. Why not wait for him to knock, knock, knock on heaven's door? Why shoot him? I wouldn't have put it quite so lyrically, but it's true. Well, we'll find out soon why they, why they did that. Diabetes. Oh, that's pretty hard. That's pretty harsh, you know. Oh, we're just receiving the, evi the, the evidences and, you know, stuff, guys. Very well, Detective. Perhaps you can enlighten us as to the circumstances of the shooting. Yes, sir. Here we go. First testimony. Ooh, this music. Question. To my beloved student Zach, to you I entrust the task of lo I was reading it. Why was it so fast? I entrust the task of lowering my left curtain. Come on the 13th, 11.05 p.m. I will ready a gun with which you will shoot. One shot square in the forehead you cannot refuse and we both know the reason why. bothers me about this why didn't he just say 11 the devil's in the details oh given an IV for his insulin thingy I see, okay. Reason he couldn't refuse. I wonder. He could have at least mentioned it to me. Why are we always ha dealing with clients that hide stuff from us? I don't get it. You gotta learn to stop relying on people to do your thinking for you, pal. Questioning detective. Shoe in the forehead, loud and clear. Detective Gumshoe. Oh, we got the pistol now. But that also the other clown, you know. Mm hmm But you know she he could have shot the toy clown. Yes, it, it's 
its forehead has been shot. He shot the doll's forehead. The doll's forehead. Let's read the orders once more, shall we? There. Yeah, that answered your question, Jerome. You will shoot one shot square in the forehead. Phoenix voice. How about whose forehead? Yet Prosecutor Gavin is right. Mm -hmm. Hello, Taku. But he just lost his badge in this trial, Taku. Bullet markings? Yeah, he's not a nervous wreck. <laughs> Quick draw, shoot him. It's a quick draw. Zack and Valen stand on either side of a girl, then they shoot. But the bullets don't hit her, instead they hit everything else on stage. Ooh. You know, that would explain a lot about the police force. Truly a blast from the past. None. Obviously. Yep, one round. So if he shot the doll, then he couldn't have shot uh, Magnifi. Pretty though. Well, uh, no, no. Why did I press instead of present? Ah, uh, that was so wrong. Do these people ever miss the chance to mock me, poor Phoenix? Objection! 
Here you go. You might have come to a very different conclusion. Understand? But like I just said, pal, after he shot the clown in the forehead, he went in. Did nothing of the sort to the victim. The pistol proves he could not. The murder weapon, how? It's quite simple, your honor. The pistol only holds one bullet at a time. So how was he able to, sh to shoot him? Mm-hmm. Where did he get the extra bullet? Mm -hmm. He makes sense, you know? Hey, ha, ha, ha. Of course, it's not over yet. Another witness. We're gonna get another witness. A testimony from a new witness, I guess. Goodbye, Detective Gumshoe. Bye bye. Decisive witness, of course. Yeah. A what? Is Clavier's truth thing a result of this case? I think it is. Hello, Ace! Hiya! Oh no, the Neko. She wants to enter the room. Okay, fine! I shall open it for you! I will open the door for the Neko. Yes! Incoming! The Neko is here, guys. Neko, Neko, nya. The Void. The Void is here. Hello, Void. You woke up. You just woke up. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! What does the Neko want? The Neko. What do you want? You gonna stay here? Okay, you stay here if you want to, okay. We'll be having, um, oh, oh, Nikotan. Can you? What do you want, my Niko? And she just went down. It's the original objection team. Yes. To be continued. This is one long trial, guys, but you know, this is my favorite trial among the, you know, entire series, I think. Here we go. Very impressive, Mr. Wright. Mm -hmm. You're in the category of the rest of you, me. <laughs> Ace. Yeah, it is a pretty good case. Yes, I really enjoyed this thing. The first time I played this, I was like, Ooh, I did not expect that. Mm -hmm. What about the way? You'll scare Trucy. <laughs> Speaking of which, where is she? Trucy! Why? For now, business. 
Mm-hmm. We? Oh, here we go. Finally, this guy sure likes to take his time getting to the important stuff. Mm-hmm. Two pistols. Two? Valent. It's Uncle Valent. Quick draw thing. Yes. Shut the door, of course. Oh, you faltered. You mean you thought about shooting him? There was a reason I could not refuse his request. His such, his last re such request. Oh ho. Or not entirely sure just what is going on. You know, we can you always you only see what we see on cam. But off cam we don't know. It's a different bullet. Ooh different bullet markings then. Ballistic markings, I mean. Rifling marks. Yes. Well, he's the one who's, who is a suspect, eh? So we need to prove his innocence. Of course he won't tell me. Of course he won't. Why are my clients always like this? I don't understand. <laughs> They're making our life harder than usual. He was awake. He was just pretending to sleep. Never, Ace. Never. They're never... Well, they're... They're never guilty of what they were, you know, being prosecuted about. Like, you know, like Maki is being accused of... Uh, murdering Mr. Romain Latouse, but he got trial. He's guilty of being a smuggler of the Virginian cocoon. He's not gonna tell us, obviously. I knew it. How? Or maybe he just stubborn. Maybe he is just stubborn. And there we go. Ah, not again. This is gonna be a tough thingy. Yes, Nico John. They were different. Oh, they didn't analyze it yet. Valent. Hello, Titan.
Wait, did Asha already stream? Ace? I thought she was just about to stream. What do you mean, my own sound effect? Oh, really? She did? But I saw that she has this thing that uh, the members gameplay thingy. Oh, okay. I I thought I saw her. I saw a schedule for her. I think maybe that's tomorrow. Wait, wait. wait. That's the same letter Zach received. Yes, but it's a different... It has a different time. You make little gremlin sounds with... <laughs> when your excitement peaks. What do you mean gremlin sounds? Huh, Sonic? I would have... Well, even I would have trouble envisioning someone to ask his students to kill him, you know? He was coercing them, not asking them. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and then what? Well, this is his first case, Jerome, so you know, we couldn't... He's still not that experienced, I guess? What? What? Designated time because you know they couldn't arrive together. Timing is everything, yes? <laughs> Stuff like that, they're very quiet and subtle. <laughs> What time did you did you arrive, Mister? Huh? Eleven twenty. Uh huh. So here saying he's already dead, but you still shot the clown doll. This guy, this guy. Let's not jump to any conclusion. And if it wasn't Zack, then the killer was you. And no disappearing act will get you out of that. Mm-hmm. Here, here, this thing. This thing is so weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because whoever didn't shot the clown committed murder. The number of pistols. Mm 
course, I had no intention of shooting my mentor. Mm hmm. Alakazam, Alakazing, Alakaboom. Yes, it is quite important. According to the defendant, yes, there were two pistols. Well, what ab about what Mr. Valent has told us? You see, there's something about his testimony that doesn't make sense. But the raveling marks tell a very different story, Mr. Valen. Recall what Prosecutor Gavin told us? Yup, it's different! Yeah, so, you know, the, the bullet from the clowns is unknown, the rifling marks, but the rifling marks of the one in the... the, the victim and the gun is the same. That is correct. Objection! Mm -hmm. Type of gun that fired them, but that's not what you told us before. You said you'd verified the murder weapon. Ugh. Clavier, you're still not, well, you are still a rookie and a newcomer, so you know. Oof. Aggressive in Detroit? Divisive than decisive. <laughs> He's divisive now. Oh, -ho. you'll see in time. The testimony so far has been merely bit has merely been a review of the facts. Okay, what is it? Bring it. Who shot what? Dun, 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 dun. Mm-hmm. Thirteen years hard time for love. Cue to the song, press the play button, it will play for two minutes and fifteen seconds. Do it a hundred times, the result is the same. Their debut single was only two minutes and fifteen seconds long? What a ripoff. Oh no. So we're gonna get uh, a penalty. 
Okay. So we cannot just press anything? Okay, fine. Fine. You're challenging us, we accept that challenge. Oh yeah, how? The ivy? I knew it. Ten minutes every ten minutes, I guess. But you can in you can Refill the thing, you know? Mm-hmm Nope, that's not proof enough Yes, it's very important Behold the power of arithmetic. Mm -hmm. well, the water of life springs not eternal. The remaining ivy liquid proves my innocence. You might be a suspect. So that's why he was not um, suspected because of the ivy. Lucky color. Your lucky color? Your lucky color is yellow. But the ivy is color green. Oh, can you, sh can you shush? You, you don't need to tell us about the thing. Come on! Huh? How did you know that the ivy was color yellow? It looks like color green to us, you know? There is a contradiction. Your lucky colors betrayed you. Yes, he, he, he said that his lucky color is yellow, but the ivy is colored green. So you know? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm confident. Don't you worry. The crime scene photo. All this talk of color has me yearning for black and white. Clear cut simplicity. Tell us. Where's the contradiction? Okay, fine. I'll point it out for you. With pleasure. But I can promise anything in black and white. How did you know that the ivy is yellow? It's yellow, yes? Kind of take the mystery out of it, but yes.
It's green. Mm -hmm. It would be hard to call the ivy liquid yellow. Mistake. Hey, he's panicking. The green they are, the green they are, the harder they fall. Mm -hmm. The lucky color is yellow, but the ivy is clearly not. So sorry. I'm so sorry for this news. I don't know what happened. I suddenly my nose suddenly itched. <laughs> Thank you, Jerome. Thank you. But how does he know that it's yellow? Uh, uh, people would think it's green. Mm -hmm. Yes, but... That's not gonna work, Xavier. You've just proven something rather grave for you, that is. Grave? The liquid, the liquid in the ivy is yellow, yes. But how did this witness know that? How? It's quite unnatural when you think about it. You did think about it, didn't you? Uh, uh, yeah, how did he know? So let me ask, how did the witness know that IV liquid was actually yellow? Alakazoom! Da -da -da. I can think of only one possibility, your honor. Because... He knew the ivy liquid's color. Right? Or he's seen it before. I knew. Hey. Why? Because he'd seen it before, but not inside the blue bag. We seen the photo, he saw the liquid by itself in a clear colorless bag. Hello, Kay! Why, what's going on with... What's going on with Elena? Why is she going crazy? Weird or something. Because Sonic's also disturbed and confused. What is she doing? What's not happening to her? Is she still okay? She's acting like you, Kay. <laughs> Maybe Kay doesn't like when someone tries to act like her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what did you give her, guys? Huh? What did you give her? <laughs> What's going on? Why is... Why is Le What's up? Okay, don't, are you really? Are, did you switch with Elena? Are you actually the one streaming on Elena's channel right now?
No. <laughs> Proving the time of death at 30 minutes. I just woke up. How am I being late for this? <laughs> they were saying, um, Sonic is saying you're a bad influence, K. <laughs> Poor K just woke up and then look what happened. Are you gonna stream, K? Or not? Because I thought you were supposed to stream last night, but I think, I mean, not really last night. Um, earlier in the morning? We usually stream at night, right? You're done? I said last night because she said she just woke up. <laughs> I was confused. Like, wait, wait. It's still night. <laughs> oh, do you sleep at the morning, Kay? Instead of at night? Since you just woke up? Or something? I don't know. Ellie. Oh, so that's why. So that So your morning is our night. And our night is your morning. <laughs> Meow. Night owl. Midday. Oh, do you sleep at midday, okay? In the middle of night and morning. But I thought you were supposed to stream earlier. Like at at afternoon or maybe you just you're still sleeping at that time. <laughs> and you weren't able to wake up. She works mornings. Oh yeah. Oh, wait, but you don't have work, right? This morning? Eh, yeah, maybe. Meow? Are you a night owl? A night owl? Anyway, let's continue. We're about to lose our... At our a lawyer badge here, guys. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want this to happen. But we gotta do. You're a bat. Okay, be a bat. You get cranky without sleeping, Ace. I think you're the only one who sleeps at mo at morning, Kay. I think so. Yes. 5 a.m. to whatever time. I imagine it has to be around 12 or 3 and 3. Oh. <laughs> Titan, brush is no longer part of this. We're doing a trial from 7 years ago. 7 years ago. Objection. I'm an amateur too, but I can pour water into Objection. a cup. Yeah, it's the magician guy. Oh yeah, of course you can. You don't need to be an expert. It's pretty easy. He add yes. So that he has created an alibi for himself. We're already with Phoenix. And look at Clavier, his hair is still short. It's because it's seven years ago. I think it's his debut as a prosecutor. Get it? Debut? Because you know, his debut, his, he debuted as a singer as well. And props become evidence. All he had to do was work a little magic and the prop was the syringe. You can increase the IV bag con contents with the syringe. No, it's not Brusho! Titan, Brushel is just an annoying um, interviewer. Objection. Objection. And don't you find that odd, Prosecutor Gavin? The victim had the syringe to administer his insulin shots. There should have been traces of insulin left inside. Well. Yeah, why is it clean? Because he washed it off. Alak... Alakazakh! Alakazakh! There we go, guys. There we go. We're finally corn... We've finally cornered him. Cornered! 
I do believe uh, with this being his first that the burden of this trial has been a bit too much to bear for Prosecutor Gavin. Look at his hair! He looks cool. But I like his new look right now. Well, maybe I can squeeze an extra day out of this. I can do a little much later. What? What now, Clavier? <laughs> Underestimate the young and they'll sweep you under your your feet under from under you. What's he talking about? Yes, of course. That's pretty easy, you know? Huh? You have something in mind, prosecutor? Proof! Oh no, the diary! Oh no! Here we go again, guys! The reason why his disciples couldn't refuse his last request? Oh great, here we go guys! Here is the falsified evidence! The night's ivy is in, maybe the last I leave the rest of them, the first should come soon, the journal may end here or it may go on, but not long, that, that depends on his hand. All that is left but I was still reading. I wasn't able to read the last part. Can you open? Open says me. All that is left to mind is to lay down this pen. Defendant. But look at what he said before that. Uh huh. I see the defense and this. And then we're gonna present the falsified evidence. Oh no! And then we lose our badge. We lose our badge. Uh oh. Quick, show them your badge for one last time. <laughs> we can't, we're gonna get penalized. So oh, we're gonna lose our badge anyway, so. I don't think it's still used. Oh well. Still too green for a tasting. gonna lie down on my lap, Koneko-chan. Okay, you can stay there if you want to. Hello, Koneko-chan. Why are you having a hard time going? Okay. Okay, you're staying there. Okay, hello. It's the orange chaotic Koneko-chan, guys. She's here. I thought she was gonna stay on my lap, but you know. Go, 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 go. No, no, don't press anything. And now she's in front of me. She was nearly pressing stuff on the keyboard, so I had to force her to stay in front of me. So. Koneko chan is here.
こねこちゃんヘルスアーディサイシブエビデンス Okay, you're gonna lie down there. Phonic! Why is he like this? Eh! He's like. He's so. He's so. Eh. She, she doesn't know where to, how, where to stay on the table. She really likes to sleep on the table a lot, though. Alaka, I don't believe it. Tada! Uh oh, Xavier knows. She, he knows. He knows. Look at the bunnies and the dove. Wow, Varys is really good then. Uh oh, here we go. Finally, you just couldn't resist, could you? Resist what? Presenting solid evidence? Might I request we put the current cross examination on hold? The prosecution would like to call a new witness. I ask only to put it on hold. Please, my new witness has a very, very important piece of testimony to give. Hello, Neko chan! Another Neko here. Here we go, guys. We're gonna be framed. <laughs> Oof. I had a bad feeling just then. The trip out page was too obvious. He must have known. Yeah. And I should have known it was a bad sign all around. Here he is, guys. Drew Misham. Take your name and occupation for the record. Um, my name's Drew Misham. I'm a painter. A painter. And you are somehow related to this case? Um, Mr. Misham, was it? Do you know what this is? Oh, yeah. I know it well. How is that possible? Have you seen this diary page somewhere before? I mean, I made it. You... What? You made it? Ah, <sighs> we've been framed, guys. A 
forger. Pick. Bird by Sinton. No! We've all been framed. We've all been played, guys. Objection! We've been, um, we played into someone's hand. It was all a trap, a fatal trap. And that's how we lost our badge, guys. If I did, would the court hear it? Probably not. A guilty. Oof. If the prosecutor's office hadn't received that hot tip, everything would have gone the way you wanted to. He's been. He's he played into someone's trap. Could I ask your name? Hmm. Phoenix Wright. Mr. Wright, I have seen and studied many people, but none like you. I'll remember you, Mr. Wright. And that's why he's... And that's why he's trying to, you know, keep updated with what's happening with the Wright and Co. Agent, anything agency? Because, you know, he's the reason why he, Phoenix lost his badge, so... Which made the agency stop dealing with, you know, um, court with defending people. Mm -hmm. Ah, your honor. There's one thing I wish to make clear. Today in this courtroom, you cannot declare me guilty. It is impossible. I'm afraid the difference. Mm -hmm. Except, tell me, how do you plan on announcing your verdict when your defendant does not exist? I'm talking about this. He disappeared! On the double, he must not be allowed to escape. Koniko-chan! chan is now sleeping on the table. He did literally unbelievably vanished. Right before the bailiff's eyes. And then that's how we lost our badge, guys. We played into someone's trap.
but not until seven years later. Imagine, it, it's it's like the ghost from the past came back. Yeah. He makes it, well, you know, that's what happens when you're pretty good at your job. You tend to get lots of rivals that want you, you know. Ah, oh, the thing. The mysteries of the past work their magic on the present, but you'll, so you'll soon be finding all of this out for yourself. Witch of Magnifi. Disciples pulled the trigger. Where did the vanishing defendant go? What dark truth lurks behind this forged diary? You'll see. Trucy, what about the girl who was left behind? Well, we already know what happened with the girl who was left behind. Phoenix was has been taking care of her. Here we go, the mason system. It's a new thing. The past left us these four keys to unlock the truth. And then we switch to past and present, guys. But that's not all. There are four keys in the present as well. And when all the questions have found their answers, the final trial will begin. But first, you must chase the truth the, through then and now. So we switch to, you know... Going back to the past and going back to the future. I mean, to the present. Oh, hello, Phoenix! Ah, Phoenix Wright will be your guide through this game. That terrible trial saw me present forged evidence. It ended half finished when the defendant, defendant vanished. What became of me after that? As your investigation proceeds, the answer will become clear. Oh, and one more thing. There's something I must tell you. As Apollo Justice has his bracelet, so too do I have my own weapon of sorts. The Magatama that was given by, you know, Maya. What does it do, you ask? Well now, shall we begin? To between the present and the present. In the past. Here we go, guys. I like this part. Switching to the past and the present and the present. Like, look, we can switch. We're gonna go here, obviously, because this is what the nightmare trial was over. Yes, that's why I really like this um case because you know we can get to figure out the past and the present, William. It's like you're um, it's like you're currently being in Tokyo Tokyo Revengers, right? We're we're Takemichi right now, guys. Takemichi, but we don't change anything from the, you know, from the past. But we travel to the past and the present. Oof, we lost our badge. Seven years ago. Here we go. Here we go. Chrissy! Wait, we already heard this thing. Oh, two weeks has passed since then. I've... Trucy! She has no living relatives. Poor Trucy, so... I was wondering if you wanted to stay with me for a while, just until your daddy comes home. I, it won't be long, I hope. Uh, of course, it's totally your choice. If you don't like it here, you can go wherever you want. He said I could trust you. Ah, Trucy! She's adorable, huh? Really? So if I stay here, does that mean you'll be my family? Uh, uh, um, I guess so. Getting murdered. 
Why don't you call me Nick? Or you can call me... Aww, it doesn't have to be the... Okay! She's so quick to adapt, guys! That was quick! If I move here, I have to switch schools, right? And I was thinking I haven't paid for lunches at my last school for a year! Ah! Oh, and this office is a little black. A little color goes a long way, you know? Ah! Oh, and... <laughs> Don't you worry one bit. I'll work twice as hard. We'll make it through this. She's so adorable. It's just so adorable. Percy, how old are you? Oh, I'm eight. But don't let a princess deceive you. I'm a young professional. Stick with me and you'll do just fine. She's so adorable. I think. Why does it feel like she's already in charge? Uh-huh. Hey, it's Charlie, guys! Charlie! Must protect... Yes, you must protect Trucy. She's so adorable. Wait, I have a child now. I can't feed Trucy like this. She probably needs more than an occasional watering too, I'm guessing. Charlie! No, it's not Charlie Brown. You don't see Snoopy around, right? You could at least kind of look aside or something when you say that. It's actually kind of hard for me. Aww. I'm... Wait, is that Foolish Pride? <laughs> My other... Uh, actually, that's pretty accurate. We'll make a new office! Law just seems so stiff, doesn't it? And no one will be my friend at school that way! Well, that won't do, I guess. I just don't know much about anything other than law. Agency, instead. You mean, like, a talent agency? Hello, buddy! Forgive me for asking, but doesn't that refer to talent? You got me, don't ya? I'm a professional. She's so adorable. I really like Trucy. He's your father. Oh. And now I'm directly descended from the famous... I think an 8-year-old just mas massaged my ego. <laughs> ah. Yes, she is a kitty patootie. Wait, <laughs> he's getting confused. The biggest star, and they're big. Ah, I really like her. She's so adorable as a kid, as a as a young kid. Ah. I shouldn't have brought it up so soon. What about her mom? Yep, we haven't heard anything about her mother. Oh, uh, Phoenix? I think I I think I I'm picking Phoenix and Maya. Phoenix and Maya. Though it's much better if it's Phoenix and Mia, but Mia's, you know, Mia, missing in action. Ah. Ah. The professional. A professional? Yes. Um. It's like the thing they say. Baby frogs grow up to be frogs. <laughs> Baby frogs. I think Maya's still gonna like Phoenix no matter what happened, Ace. You're a professional magician, Trissy? 
please show me. The future of the agency depends on it after all. Mr. Hat! Mr. Hat has already been alive seven years ago. Well, he's not living in a cardboard box, you know, Ace. He still lives nice in an. He still has an office and a talent agency. The amazing Mr. Hat. I wonder where she keeps Mr. Hat. Like, I know she's doing rent. Uh, vent ventriloquism, but where is she hiding that 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 that, that big guy? Mr. Friendly Neighborhood Mr. Hat My na friendly neighborhood Mr. Hat nearly gave me a heart attack. Oh Mr. Hat has been has been added to the court record. Yes, she's controlling it like a puppet. It was a grand delusion, but she made a mistake, she vanished, and I guess she didn't know how to get back. Aww. This. The pendant, guys. Ta-da! Isn't she familiar? Isn't the, the lady in the photo familiar? Alessa. The Neko's nose is pressing the the the, left, the the right click button of the mouse. You don't recognize her, Ace? Yes, William, you are correct. And remember what she said? She doesn't have any memories. She doesn't have any memories because of what happened. And if you connect the dots, did you see her name? Her name? Her last name is the same name as this guy. And then, do you remember? The last part, you cannot refuse, and we both know the reason why. So if you connect the dots, I'm pretty sure you'll find out what happened. The right talent agency opens tomorrow. The piano. Okay, okay, I'll think of something. That's the spirit. See you bright and early tomorrow. Mr. Hat! Welcome to the team. Right, there's three of us and only one. Sometimes when magicians vanish, they leave something behind. That's how Trucy became Trucy Wright, my daughter. To be honest, I was pretty lost those first few days thinking back on it. It was a pretty dark time in my life. But Trucy, happy, smiling Trucy, she was my light. Aww. That was so adorable, you know. We still can go to the present, so maybe here. Defendant lobby number two. Didn't think I'd be back here for a while. I didn't want to have to remember that day. Ah, it's gonna take. Of course, this 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 part is really one of my favorites. No. Koneko chan, koneko chan. 
Tiba ko, Neko-chan is just asleep beside me. Amputated limb, I can still feel it itching. Where do I start? I don't even have the authority to investigate. Ow! He's back, guys! He's back with his microphone, megaphone! That's really uh, too painful in the ears. No unauthorized personnel aren't allowed in here, but that would mean all unauthorized personnel are allowed. We've met before, haven't we? On a case two years ago? Huh? Mike Meekins! Because that's how he feels when he's, you know, heartbroken or something. Ah! I really don't like this guy. My ears! Mike Meekins. At your service, sir. Sometimes bad things happen to good people, sir. Something tells me it's a long story, let's not go there. So you were in charge of security? Mm -hmm. It's a hard knock life, sir. Turn. You said that earlier! Again. What is this thing? Is this an ashtray or something? He remembers. Hello, Jordan. Hiya. This plant has seen me grown from a rookie to an ace to a has been. I hate you, plant. Just kidding. Why is why why is he, why is he taking out on the plant? Meekins. I lost my case files four times in three days. <laughs> this guy, he's worse. He's... How did he become part of the police force? That can't be legal. Yes. Disappear. Oh, my ears, my ears. I hate it when he uses his megaphone. It's it's too painful. I'ma remove the earphones for now. I don't wanna hear it again. Ah the ears. I have my volume low, but it's still so noisy and too painful to listen to. So you saw so much suspicious coming your way, yes, and I being the Bailey. Of little standing, I gave chase. I chased that silk hat all the way down the hall, sir. Mm-hmm, and then... Ran after him with no delay. I saw that magic man run into the defendant lobby. Mm -hmm, and then what happened? Mm 
That's the burning question Americans ask about 95% of the police force, Isa. But uh, I don't know. I don't know how he was able to enter the police force. Like, imagine losing your case files four times in just three days. Except there wasn't even any smoke. He was just gone. Okay, I won't say it again. Promise. I searched. Why the pause? There was n n nothing here at all, sir. That's right, nothing was here. He's hiding something. The vanishing trick. Yes, Nico chan. What do you want? What does my Nico chan want? The void is noisy, day. Be noisy. The red silk hat, the flowing cape. He ran right in here, right inside this room. Silk hat, cape, that Zach, all right. But sir, look at the room. Okay, now two nickels on the on the on the table. Great, great. I'm running out of room, guys. She wants my attention. Yes, the void wants the attention. She's very noisy. She's very vocal. And okay, I'ma give you some scratches. Screech, scratch. What about now? Have any ideas, sir? Ideas about what exactly, sir? You don't mind me asking? Two connect, two nickels on the table. I mean, like I'm only stuck in the middle. Good thing my table's huge, or else I wouldn't have any place. Oh no, the other nickels about to come inside the room. Okay, the the void left. Okay, we have more space now. But the Koneko Chan is. Oh, Cyclops! Let's go. Ko. Ko. Neko Chan. Are you gonna go down now? Bye bye. Okay, she lied down on my bed now. She's lying down on my bed. Okay, let's go. Magatama time. I miss this part, you know? The disappearing trick. Koneko chan! Hey, 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 ooh. What's with the atmosphere in here all of a sudden? I think nothing has occurred to this guy yet. Oh, and not just a We'll find out what's happened, DJ. You'll see. How did he vanish? What could such a little girl possibly do anyway? Do you guys have any idea behind the disappearing trick now? That's the best clue that you can have. Did they just say something? Sorry, no. You screamed it through your me that megaphone of yours. There was someone else in that room. I know who was here in that room that day. It's this lady. And the one that he was chasing after is... The one that he was chasing after is this. Not really, Zach. Sir, that day she was here in the room, sir. But he wasn't. You mean you chased her into this room, not him? But it was how not to mistake a girl for a seven foot tall magician. Seven feet. Zach isn't that tall, is he?
<laughs> What's that? That girl's favorite trick, the amazing Mr. Hat. She uses it in her showdown at the Wonder Bar. So it wasn't a walking dream, waking dream, was it, sir? Come again. That night on stage, I saw a vision, except it wasn't a vision. It was a hat. An amazing Mr. Hat really exists. Guys, can you give me just a few, a few minutes? I'm just gonna put bring down my plate because this is a glass plate, and I am afraid that if they run, the, the nickels run around, it might it might break. So you know, I'm just gonna put this thing back, and then I'll be back. Okay, see you in a bit, guys. See you in a bit. I am back. <laughs> Keep chasing, cornered him. But it was just a kid. Again with the megaphone. Something that matter, mister? I'm his biggest fan, I see. Trucy's very smart, you know. Under the sofa, in the trash can, behind the painting, under the rug. It would be so obvious though, you know. That kid is smarter than this guy. Mr. Hat. He entered lobby number one, I guess. I like that their depictions are small and a, a, a big and a small silk hat for... Small hat for Trucy and big hat for Zack.
<laughs> and that's how he... That's how he feels An ice cream cone left by the side I've apologized to people many, many times. Sometimes more than once. Ah! Actually, about that girl, I'm sort of her guardian now. Sir, you should know that I harbor no ill feelings whatsoever in my harbor. Um, okay? Just another step on my way from singing the blues to wearing the blues. Guam shoe. But no one's ever given me anything for free, poor guy. No one's apologized to him and no one's given him anything for free. What kind of life did he have? Oh, it's automatic. Well, that means we gotta go to the present day. Since we it opened up. Here we go. Present time. The Russian thingy. The one where... Oh, ho. Oh, this is the day. Before the other guy died. I really don't like this guy. You look like Javier, but no, I don't like you, Kristoff. Like, look, we have so many people here now. Ta-da! Look at the necklace and ta-da! Caddy Smith. Oh no! Oh no! He's here, guys! He's here! Oh great! Why is he here? Mr. Creepy Dude. I'm just your friendly neighborhood newsman. Which is playing poker. Mm -hmm. We never lost. And then, but then this guy dies. The hideout, yes, but before we go, yes, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Shadi Smith. And I am Brushel, Spark Brushel News Reporter. Oh. That's a new knowledge that I found out. Thanks for sharing that to us, Daryl. No, no, Phoenix, right, huh? You must must always look at the man in the eye when you make your introductions. I don't know, Ace. I don't know why he's back. 
Aha! Seven years ago. Mr. Enigmar. You belong to me in all timelines forever. <laughs> you really don't like Brushel, huh, Ace? But you're... Zach! Yes, the reincarnation act of the century. Pity, I only... I have only an audience of one. You. This must be a bad dream. In sense, this guy ruined my life. Well, if that's true, you did. Olga, da. Are you really him? Now I am Shady Smith, remember this. How many years has it been now? Six? In exactly three days from now, it will be seven. I've ca I caused you much inconvenience, I fear. Yeah, you can say that. Ishiro, Trucy! Aww, he's, he's worried about her our, of his daughter. I got her working already. Hope you don't mind. Aww, thank you. Poker? Don't die. He's serious. Look at the Amatroshka. Matroshka, I think. Oh, I can. Well, let's talk to him. The meaning of competition. So this is what's happening to Phoenix while we're trying to solve um, some of the cases. Remember, he's on a special mission. So this is his special mission, guys. We get to see on what he's doing. Magnifi, he only lost to Magnifi and Phoenix. You also don't like Brushel, Jerome? Why do you guys not like him? I win because whenever there's a big game, I bring in Trucy. Trucy's the key, guys. And she sends me signals that he's got a good hand. You might have a chance if you act quick. Better call him soon. That's why he's undefeated, guys. Judging a person's thought by reading their reaction is a staple of performance magic. That was the first time I learned of this power as you Wait, so you're saying her power is genetic? It's just in the blood. Yes. Oh. So many Cyclops.
Wait, you were planning on vanishing from the get-go? Yes, and for that I must apologize. However, I could not be found guilty that day because of this. A transferal of rights, you see the signature? Oh, that's the real last page! I hereby give all rights to the secrets, raging, and performance of my magic to the recipient name below. Recipient Zach. Oh, wow. I don't, you know, I don't like Brussel, Brussel, but I don't, I'm not, you know, I'm not very avoidant of him, like how you guys act. If he has it, then why didn't you show it to us, mister? It's our survival instincts telling us to avoid such a weirdo. How could I forget? That's the thing that cost us our badge, you know? Yes. That scrap of paper lost me my attorney, my badge. <laughs> I feel so sorry for him. This is the real page that was torn from the book. Then you have. Then why didn't you give it to me, mister? Yes. Like seven years earlier? But why did you need to escape? Trucy! Trucy! Oh, he's the one who like no. It's like an is it like a notary or something? Passing the rights I have inherited to Trucy. Mm hmm. Mm. I may not look like it, but I am a certified notary. You are. By day, I wear a notary's glasses and hunt for news. Also by day, I wear a reporter's glasses and notarize. When I take off the glasses, I can see very well. Uh-huh. The case is about to expire or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just so he, he could he could pass the inheritance rights to Trucy. Mm-hmm. Without witnesses. Oh so if he if he disappears or he's declared legally deceased, then that means all of the rights will go to Valent. I have known Brusho since before I vanished. He is a man I trust. Now only three of only three know of my rebirth. Can we do the thing now? I'm not yet sure if we have enough. Oh, we gotta ask about the mother. Oh, 
Ojo. Jersey's mother, Magnifi Grammarie's only daughter. Rachel, you say too much. Uh, uh, what? What am I, the bad guy? Why? Without seeing your daughter? Mm -hmm. Unless one has an ace up one sleeves. As a magician, it causes me no end of irritation to think a mere lawyer might be out there pulling the wool over so many eyes. Hey, I just signed your document for you. Maybe you could try lightening up? That was that. This is this. For my final competition, I will destroy your perfect record, Phoenix Wright. I punch and I punch, but still it isn't, it is not enough. Or I just remember the future, or prior engagement. <laughs> Toodle gentlemen. Oh, a nice meeting you piano man. There guys, he left. I saw a familiar face as I entered this restaurant. He did not seem to notice me, however. Gavin, I believe was his name. You know him? After a fashion, listen, Phoenix Wright. One can learn much from a true competition. Remember this. He knows about Gavin. From the moment my final competition with Zack began that night, a name was running through my head. The name of a man now in prison. Christoph Craven. A man, a name Zack knew, but how and why? Because he was supposed to be the lawyer before... Wow, that's his cell? I forgot that he has a fancy cell, guys. Look at his cell. He even has a violin. I think that is a violin, not a viola. Look, in his chair, what? He has plenty of books. I don't even know, Ace. I don't know why he has that thing. Revenge for the events that took away your badge seven years ago. My past is like my logic, straight and true. Nothing's changed. All I did was point the finger of justice in the proper direction. Fine, I'm glad we could have this little teet a teet. You get mail here in jail? A violin! I, free I have a few friends on the prison staff. They show me a little kindness. Just a little? Retriever, Bongole, cute but feisty. Look at his chair, guys. Oh 
Maybe I should be Dickory. <laughs> Let's talk to him. Hey, mister. Why did you murder? I also want the chair like that, you know? It's like a throne. Shaddy Smith was the name of the man you killed. Did you know who he really was? Who he was? Zack. You know, the defendant. I remember him, of course. But you see, look at, look at his face, guys. He looks so evil. He really looks like a devil. Look at him. He's like the devil. Oh ho, I'm an evil human being. Mm hmm. My brother won his fair share of praise and adoration for that trial, as I recall. Genius prosecutor reveals crooked. Now we're called crooked for that thing. You suspected me then as you still do now, don't you? Honestly, right now, I'm not sure what I think. So what's your reason for murder, mister? Yes, he knows you. I'm just stretching my back. Why? Why? Uh huh. Cyclops. Whew. So many. They're all black and they're so many. Dark, cold, full of despair. <gasps> Guys. Guys. Ain't that thing familiar? What do we present to him? Diary? Oh wait, we can, it's there now. Like guys, is it doesn't this remind you of something? Nail polish. Yes, it should remind you of something. It should remind you of something, you know. Oh, it's... Hello, Mr. Misham. Oh, you'll... It, 
You know, you'll find out why, Ace. You'll find out why. Good morning, clock! Um, good morning to you if you just woke up. But it's technically almost midnight, so... <laughs> good morning, I guess? Well, er, very, 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 very late early morning. Late but early. Uh, I mean, I'm not making sense. Guys, Lucky, Nail Polish. Ta-da! That's the commemorative stamp. Ta-da! We got the thingy! I'm a painter, why not paint a portrait instead? And here's the red envelope Good night, Titan! Painter's apartment, yes it is. Where everyone is gonna be sleeping, good night, good night. I think we'll just try to finish this Mason investigation thing and then... You know, we gotta go... Head off for the night because I'm a little bit tired as well. That's why his hair is like that. Look at how he... The reason why his hair is not like that. Outside of painting. Oh. to remind him so we show it to him might have destroyed the life of an innocent man it even cost me my badge you know
You know, my previous friend, it sufficed to create a copy. This wasn't a copy. The client gave me two things that day. The first was a sample page as reference. The second, a printed document. I can only surmise what was written by my client. So you used the real writing as a reference to reproduce what the client wrote. Never met them personally. Oh, Cyclops! Two of them. Let's go. Ask him about his works. Here we go. You're hiding something. Are you gonna find out what's the thing? You're hiding something, you have to be, otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. The Forger! He told me what he knew about the client, and I couldn't see any psycho- Psycho locks? Asylum security or a new hairstyle, perhaps? If it was me, I would want- uh-huh. Not personally. But someone else did! Yes. The real forger behind this wasn't you, Mr. Mesham. Mm-hmm. Where is she? Ta-da! The little kid. The real forger is your daughter, Vera Mesham, isn't it? Psycho lock myself. Nobody can see the Cyclops except for his Phoenix anyway, so they don't understand the thing. Yep, he made the thing. We get to talk with Vera then. Your daughter. Talk to Vera. Yes, I can. I want to. Oddly enough, it was that client. Hello, Vera. To make you talk, this is what I need to do because this is your favorite group of magicians, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Phoenix is so good in how to get the child to talk to him. Oh, you're going to bed as well, Jerome. Good night, Jerome. Look at how adorable she is when she's smiling genuinely, guys. She's so adorable. We talk to her now. She's so adorable. There's bad people out there. Well, true, but there are also a lot of good people too. He was almost kidnapped once. Oof. He's been locked inside the house. Mm -hmm. A good luck charm. For when I ab I absolutely had to go outside. Something a gift from that client actually. And do you guys know now what she got from that client? Yes, we already learned about that, so... I guess I just took it. Yeah, took it. Father got a letter from that person that you mean the letter was from the client? Yes. So you met the person that asked you to do this job. Toast, butter, and cucumber slices Also Oh, oh, it's morning on your end That's why you said good morning Oh, good morning, clock I hope you have a wonderful morning And have a good breakfast Guys, don't you see her habit? Let's go It's time, guys. It's time to do the thing. Don't go outside if you don't want to. That's what they told me. But when I absolutely have to go out, all I had to do was use a good luck charm. I think it's on the next one or... I don't know, I'm not, I forgot, Ace. This is your good luck charm. The nail polish from Gavin.
So she got that nail polish from Gavin. And then we'll be able to find we know who the client is. So do you know what that means, guys? And take a look at her like right now. Let's just say what if the nail polish has poison and then you know, you do what she's doing right now. Doesn't that mean obviously you're going to get poisoned, you know? Yep, and that's how she fainted from the trial, guys. Because she had to go outside before the trial, so she used her um, good luck charm, and then that's how she got poisoned. So that's her, that's how everything happened. I think they might be the devil. Or maybe an angel. I saw the devil's face. Christoph Gavins has her charm. Yup, he has her charm. What makes you think that? Your eyes, they're sad, very sad. Imagine if she found out that what she did actually nearly ended up, you know, Making one of her favorites, innocent favorites, guilty. Man, that would be so sad. Ah, oh, look at her. She's so adorable when she smiles. Still can't get all of those things. Maybe we just finish the past. I'll just finish the past, guys, and we'll call it a day, I guess. Because I'm getting tired. Uh, and I'm getting sleepy. You dozed off once or twice on your couch? Yeah, so yes, Ace. We'll just finish probably questioning this guy and then, you know. We'll save the game and continue it and then finish it for the last time on the next stream. You, mister. Yeah, right. Her. Is that true? <laughs> Seen in this light, the trial was quite good to me. Verdict or no? This guy only... That's all he ever thinks about.
Mm-hmm. What was he blackmailing you about? And Cyclops. So many. Oh, great. Four. Well, at least it's red. It's not cold like, you know, Kristoff's. Not black. Well, let's go. Here we go, guys. You get to find out what the truth is all about. And he got his wish. His life was taken. Life, it was a matter of life or death. Care to explain? Your troop live in a world of showmanship. The flashier, the better. And flashy so often means danger, doesn't it? If you have proof of this danger, then show it. The quick draw thingy. Why, that's one of ours. Accident. Oof. And then who was the, the... Remember they said that there's a girl in the middle and then what Trucy said that she made one mistake and then, you know, she disappeared, she vanished and stuff like that. And that was... Magnifique's daughter. Hehe, <laughs> Talasa. Mm-hmm. But, but that's... Zach? That? Yeah, his, his wife and Truzy's mother, Talasa, I believe was her name. No, this was seven years ago, clock. Still in denial mode, eh? Commemorative stamp. Your dead mother is missing, I hear. What happened to her? I. I don't know. Last one. Uh huh. I'm so close. Oh, we already know. He, 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 she's her, his daughter. She's his daughter. With a person. What? It's going to take a little knowledge of the players to crack this one. It wasn't a question of who shot Talasa, the Th Talasa herself was the problem. What do you mean? She was... And Magnifi's only daughter. And the two of you killed your mentor's only daughter. And if that wasn't the key to Magnifi's power over you, I don't know what was. It was an accident. Ta-da! Ready, you know. Blackmail. 
There's no proof, none at all. But she went missing. An accident. Two de fun. To the force, the guns blaze, the bullets fly straight toward the beautiful body on stage, and then crash, zing, pow, into everything but her. Now that is magic. Oof. Oh no! Oh, it is all part and parcel of the darkness that comes when the curtain falls. The darkness. Why did Magnifique? Uh huh. Time we, myself, and Jack found we could no longer oppose Magnifique's wishes. Oh, they were being blackmailed, I guess. Huh? To decide to hide the truth of your own daughter's death is one thing, but then to hang that death as a guillotine above our head? Mm -hmm. Things were dark behind the scenes in troop grammarie. That's for sure. She was not told, naturally. Who would want to know that their father might have taken their mother's life? True. A reporter? Guys, do you know who's that newsman? Do you know who's that newsman? He became quite close to my partner, Zach. <laughs> you know who it is. We gotta deal with him again, guys. I like him, not. Yes, it's brush <laughs> His name, I do not recall, but his scent, the cloying aroma of mint. Yes, whenever he smiled, which was far too often. And then newsman, the newsman, I never learned who that was at that time. Though I've got a pretty good idea who it is now. That smile and that sickly sweet smell of mint. The last floss thin thread connecting Zack to this world. Sooner or later, I'd have to track him down. <laughs> we all know who it is. We're done with the, pre with the past. Now time to head to the present. Well, most likely... Oh! Anyway... It's time to save up, guys. Because I am tired. Oh! And let's just double save instead. Okay! Ta-da! <sighs> so, yes, guys! That's pretty much... Hello, Neko! You wanna say goodbye to them? Okay, hi. So the neck is here, but yeah. So wow. that's pretty much it for today's stream. Um, thanks a bunch for hanging out with me, guys. Even though it was just a surprise stream, let's just say I got plenty of energy earlier. So you know, I wanted to play the game because I really wanted to finish it, but we don't have enough time, and I'm getting too tired now. So 
we'll just probably finish that next stream that we play uh, Apollo Justice. So, yeah, the story is getting much more um, intense and we're finding out the truth about what really happened and, you know, the the trial that's about to come up is one of my favorites. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are excited to see what happens next and yes, that's pretty much it. So, yes, guys, um, today's officially Sunday. So, you know, um, we still have one more day left for the weekend before another week starts with the, you know. So, I hope you will continue to enjoy your weekend, do some stuff that you enjoy or that you have fun with. Oh, go spend time with your family, your friends, your loved one, or maybe just by yourself if you want to. But yes, make sure to make the most out of your weekend so you can get fully recharged as we continue on for, you know, another week of work and school and stuff. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with me. But before I end, I'd just like to say thank you so much for everyone who's always here. I really appreciate all of you guys, your presence. No matter what time I, try, I stream, you guys are always, you're, you're always here. So thank you so much. I appreciate it a lot. And then I hope you guys will, um, you know, continue to take good care of yourself. Please eat healthily. Stay hydrated with water. Maintain a consistent sleep schedule, but most of all, take good care of yourself, not just physically, but mentally, guys. And then, um, please try not to stay up way too late. You know, I know it tomorrow, I know later on it's a weekend, but you know, please still maintain your sleep schedule so you can still get fully rested. And yeah, you can have energy for the rest of the day. And yeah, for those people who, you know, whose days, uh, who's day is already started because it's already morning or afternoon to them well good luck and i hope you have fun for it the rest of the day but for everyone else i hope you guys will continue to have a wonderful you guys will have a wonderful sleep and a wonderful weekend and i'm very good at giving some of my attention oh okay there's no need to go out if you don't want to clock you can just nap just go do stuff that makes you happy no matter whether that's staying indoors or going outside, it doesn't matter. Just do the thing. Anyway, guys, um, thank you so much. We're almost near a thousand subs. So, you know, the reveal is almost there. Just a few more. And I'm excited for you guys to see it because it's really so adorable. And I want to know what your reaction is. So, I'll probably reveal it on a stream when we reach a thousand subs. Mm -hmm. Why? It's because I got near the microphone. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's because I went forward a little bit. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate all of you guys. Have a wonderful night to everyone who's sleeping and a good day to everyone else. So thank you so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Bye for now, guys. See ya.